Turning now to our forecast on this Saturday morning. Here's a live look out over Southfield. You can see the sun already shining bright as you wake up. Let's get you ready for the day. It's going to be another hot one. That humidity meter is going mm. up and up. It is going to go Can't up. Can't say I'm thrilled about it. No. <laughs> this morning I'm feeling it, but you know what? It's going to drop a little later this morning and then start to increase So we'll get a tonight. little relief. I think so. Okay. It's going right. to be hot today, so temperature is approaching 90. We just That alone is going to be a little tough for some of us. So just another hot day. 87 was a high yesterday, so we should be a couple of degrees above that. And then our rain chance tomorrow. We need the rain. We have not had rain in over a week, a week and a half or so. And with these hot temperatures, we could use it and then once we get the front to come through tomorrow it's a pretty comfortable start to next week we look at our typical highs and lows for this time of the year 82 and 63 are highs and lows 67 so far this morning is above that average low 104 the record high today and that was set back in 1988 we're at 65 degrees in Pontiac, 61 in Port Huron. You're seeing that fog around Port Huron, but also into Washtenaw County around to Ann Arbor, visibility down to near zero. But with the sunshine, we should start seeing that burning off. Unfortunately, the winds, though, are so light, so it may take some time. High pressure slides away from us today. The cold front will start to approach. We'll see scattered cloud cover as we get later in the day. The rain holds off until we head into tonight and tomorrow, so we'll be tracking that overnight into Sunday. As far as our winds today, south winds only about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Pretty light wind overall. So if you're counting on a breeze, don't have a whole lot of that in the forecast with these hot temperatures. As I mentioned, the dew points up just a little bit this morning and then down again for the afternoon. So pretty dry air mass overall. So it's going to be tough to even with the front coming in to start the rain. So that's why I think it'll be mainly through the overnight when we see those dew points rising. And then tomorrow, look at that mid to upper 60s with our dew points. That is pretty high into the afternoon. That's going to feel very huge humid, not as hot, but more humid, and then it'll drop behind the front. So we look at our hour by hour forecast. Scattered cloud cover comes in for the afternoon. If you have grilling plans for the evening, no problem there. Head to the pool this afternoon. Just try to stay comfortable. We have an air quality alert today, so working outdoors is going to be tough, especially if you have any respiratory issues. The chance for a shower or even a thunderstorm increases a bit. 10, 11 o'clock overnight. It's still scattered, but I think by the morning, after about 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see this come together a bit more and maybe a few heavier downpours come through, and it should come through pretty quickly. Anything left behind that is dotted across the area very widely scattered maybe even a stray shower for the afternoon and then Monday it looks dry and cooler so when we look at the forecast for tomorrow temperatures again not as warm but it is going to be humid the rain showers through the morning and then a little bit drier for the afternoon temperatures in the mid 80s tomorrow upper 70s on Monday that is a really nice dry forecast and then 80 on Tuesday we're hoping to get